All right, welcome back to the stream. It has been a little while. We'll see if anyone remembers who I am, what I do over here. Hopefully someone will come by. Um, so yeah, this is the deck that I've been running. <clears throat> it's got three copies of Charming Prince, down to three Thalias, uh, three images, three freebooters, one deputy. I like deputies so much I could not bring myself to cut both on the main board. Um, sort of a combination of a bunch of people's ideas. Uh, Dylan Hand and Tanner. Sorry, I should have Tanner's last name. I just know him as Tanner, the guy who puts out good content. What is his last name? Uh, so say on here. I'm on Good Grief Games looking at this. It is by Tanner Bromer. Uh, he has uh, a sideboard up. Um, and I, I like a lot of what each of them are doing. And then there's some things I disagree with each of them on. Uh, for instance, Dylan's been on um, Hostage Shaker for quite a while. And I just feel like four is unreasonable for this deck. Like once, if you tick your vial to four, you're just committed to only playing Hostage Taker with it. Especially in a world where Fresh Prince is so awesome as, as a two drop. Uh, I just have a really hard time justifying not leaving it on two even more than before. Which means in order for Hash to take her to work, you have to get four lands in play, which I don't want to do anyway. Then you have to let it live for a turn to where it will be able to, to use the card that you've exiled. It's just, I just don't buy Hash to take her and... Dylan Hand is amazing with humans, so I fully trust him. I just can't get behind it myself. Um, a lot of people are using three oofs. My thought process is I have four oofs in Night of Autumn and Oof. Yes, they don't fill quite the same role, uh, but I like having Night of Autumn to actually just be able to eliminate some artifacts, like, say, uh, bridges when, when it comes down. And then it's also more flexible because it also um, helps with, like, the burn matchup. Instead of having Oriac Champion, we now have Prince, three copies, Knight of Autumn, two copies. We basically have five Oriac Champions. And what is up, Flip? Can't believe that I'm your favorite streamer. Am I the only streamer you watch? If not, well, that's pretty high praise, and uh, thanks so much. So, bottom line is, I, feel, I like the idea of having three oofs. If oof wasn't like $18 on MG Joe, I'd probably try it and only go one Knight of Autumn. But we see so much burn anyway, I think I'm fine with it. I really like Damping Sphere right now. Tron seems to just be getting worse and worse as a matchup. <clears throat> it's also good against stuff like Amulet Titan. So um, I think that's totally reasonable. Uh, deputies, I love being at three. Like I, You could convince me to run 20 deputies, and I'd be like, 20? That sounds like a lot, but I like where your head's at. Um, I love Plague Engineer. And uh, some people have been cutting this member. I can't imagine cutting this member. It's just so good against so many matchups, especially so many even just random things they're just like i play this dude who's gonna crush you and you're like cool i'll dismember it uh awesome that worked out well um mirren crusader is kind of the um a lot of people have been talking about for a while dylan hand is, is running them as like a screw you jund which i can totally get behind i freaking hate playing against jund so much um that i kind of like where his head's at there like a lot of other people, like Tanner in his most recent article, are, is running um, Mariner. And Mariner's fine, but Mariner, I just, I haven't found Mariner to be devastating. It's just fine. And I feel like Mirren Crusader might just be devastating. Like, they can't block with any of the things they would normally block with. You buff it once with a lieutenant, you're swinging for six every turn? Like, that feels like it might be better than Mariner. But Flip, you may be right. Like, I've had some good success with Mariner. Mariner plus Prince plus Thalia sounds pretty strong. So I feel like this Mirren Crusader slot is the Mariner slot. And I'm kind of testing that. I love Bugler right now. Like, there's so many removal decks. There's so many control decks. Like, he's just so good. I have a hard time not having him. Um, so for me, the, the slots that are flex for sure here are the Crusaders and the Knight of Autumns. Um, like I said, I think at three oofs, one autumn would be totally fine. Mariner Infra Crusader is fine. Um, uh, Tanner has two copies of Campbell, 
And the more I think about Campbell, the more I really don't like Campbell. Like, there's just not that many matchups where I feel like Campbell's doing that much. Let's take a look at him. Um, so basically, whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, that, that player loses two life and gains two life. That sounds amazing. Uh, the problem is, against most of the decks where he's good, they kill him immediately, and then they lose two, which, sure, like, that's great. Like, if... Like, it's not a bad card, but I just look at it and I'm like, Bugler, they either have to take the two damage for him or kill him, and he gets me another dude. Um, so, like, I feel like Bugler is better than Campbell in a lot of the spots where Campbell's good already. I think Bugler's just better. Uh, if I'm worried about Jund, I think Mirren Crusader or Mariner is probably better than Campbell. If I'm worried about Burn... I think Knight of Autumn might be better than Campbell. So it's like, I don't disagree with Tanner that Campbell is a good card. I just feel like we have so many awesome sideboard options that I have a hard time believing that hitting them for two more is the difference maker. Now against something like Storm, yeah, that would be devastating, but they're going to remove him. Like, they remove him, then go off. It's it's. I just haven't ever found a situation where they're like, "Oh my God, you Campbelled me! It's over!" Right. Most of our sideboard cards are stumbling blocks, and I just feel like he's too small of a stumbling block to be better than any of the other cards in my sideboard. That's just my thought. Um, maybe I'm wrong on that. All right. So we got Flip says uh, Tron seems like a buy. Interesting. I haven't actually played Tron in a little bit. Um, I played against Etron yesterday and lost, which was annoying. You don't play Oof because you don't have Wars of Dex in your life. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, for me, I guess I play most of my games on MTGO anyway. So I'm not really gaming for my local LGS. And I go to three to four different ones. So it's kind of unclear. And the players are really good at them and tend to play meta decks. So like as soon as Wars of became good, the best player at the LGS was like, Wars is my deck. Um, and so I feel like our local scene is probably different in that regard. And I think that's important, Flip. If you can recognize what your local scene is doing, then you're going to be at a huge advantage. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. Prince, though, has been awesome. Like, that card, that card is not overrated. Like, it's definitely that symptom, right? Of whenever a new card comes out, you're excited and you're like, ooh, maybe this card will be good. And usually they're not that great. I don't think that's the case with uh, Prince. I think Prince is the real deal. It's just having the three different modes on it is it's, it's insane. And I've used them all. Even like worst case scenario, you're like, okay, I have nothing else on the board. Uh, my light total is not in jeopardy. Two scry is fine in this deck. Just getting rid of two lands. And it's almost like a bugler because now you're not drawing those lands. You're drawing dudes. And then you're winning with your dudes. Like, the worst, the, the fail case for, for Fresh Prince is awesome. That's the bottom line. All right, we're keeping this, right? Uh, two lands, Hierarch. Yeah, this is like a dream hand, depending on what we're playing against. All right, what did I take out? I took out a an image. I took out a Thalia, which hurts. Like, that's, that's a spot where I'm like, mm, maybe that was a mistake. All right, this is a question that I often have here. Is like, I could go Waterlogged for Hierarch. There are only a couple decks that will punish me losing the life. And does that make it so they don't know 100% I'm on humans? I'm not sure. I just, I'm not sure what other decks actually run waterlogged. I feel, I feel like just running waterlogged plus noble is like, humans, 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 I'm humans over here. And yeah, I agree, this is a great hand. Let's see, what else did I cut? I cut an image, I cut a Thalia, and I cut... Oh, I cut one of the two deputies. So I took one of my flex slots, which hurt. But I don't know. It feels like deputy is slightly worse right now. Still awesome, but slightly worse. What? Look at an opponent's hand. Choose any card. Activated abilities are chosen and can't be activated. Um, okay. That's kind of annoying, but none of them are activated, right? They're all just... Is, is that activated? I don't think so. It seems like... I don't think any of these are activated. That would be nice. And he named... Oh, what, wait, what? Oh, okay, it's for the draw. Gotcha. All right, so it looks like we're probably going up against... Oh, where's the deck here? Huh. 
How? Wait, what? How? <laughs> How did he play? Oh, he had the Simeon guy. Gotcha. Okay. That must have been disappointing for him because there's the file. <laughs> That's kind of cruel, right? Uh, I would love to be able to... Hmm. I don't know. What do I do here? I could vile here and still play Thalia, but I feel like Parish Thalia is much stronger. Uh, I think we're going to do that. I'm gonna go perish Thalia. It could burn us, like if we draw a, if I had a prince, I'd probably just say we should play the Ether Vial to protect our stuff. And if we draw it next turn, I'll look kind of foolish for not having one at the ready, but this feels like a really aggressive start and maybe we can just knock them over before they really get going. Uh, you always play the deputy and win so many games. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> I can't deny that. Okay, so now, kind of foolish not... Wait, oh, it's on zero. Okay, that seems like a bad thing for him since they have lots of zeros. That, okay, that seems weird to me. Like, that seems problematic. Ooh, wow. Urza could be played next turn. I could neutralize parts of the combo. I kind of am fearing bridge. Wondering if like that's why our opponent rushed out that chalice. Was to be able to knock out their hand for a bridge. I think I'm gonna just do tenant here though and maybe sneak out the win. This is a pretty big lieutenant, and then next turn I can copy it and pretty close to lethal, I would assume. I didn't do the math on it, but it seems pretty good. Unfortunately, I can't play Vile here also, but I kind of want the damage anyway. It's a little risky, right? Like, we could have just played the safe line and declared either Urza or part of the combo. I don't know. We'll see. This is definitely a nerve wracking. I kind of feel like game one, let's just try to blitz him down. Okay, well, <laughs> that certainly worked. Okay, so oof, definitely going in. The deputies are really good in this matchup. The Knights of Autumn are really good in this matchup. Um, I like Dismember in this matchup for Urza and the dude. I like. Like Plague Engineer? Uh, what the heck are we going to take out? Wow, I kind of like everything in this matchup. Is this a matchup maybe where Prince comes out? It's clearly still good, but perhaps not good enough. Um, I'm going to look at actually um, Tanner's guide here for Wurza. Okay, he does say take out the Princes, take out the Reflector Mages, put in Plague, Deputy... Oof. I'm sure he would say put in Night of Autumn if he had them. Um, he doesn't say put in Dismember. I don't know. We'll, we'll definitely take out the Prince. That was where my initial thought was as well. Seven more cards? Holy Jesus. Maybe that's why he's, he's not putting in uh, the Plague Engineers because it's just kind of like how much room do you have? Uh, sorry, not Plague Engineers. I'm definitely putting them in the Dismembers. Um, I think the thought there is we st we already have the deputies to grab Urza. Um, and there's really only Urza. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm going to take out a couple of these guys. It's really only Urza is the big dude we're trying to hit. Three more. Lordy. So many good cards to put in. Uh, I guess if we're going second, I can go along with his idea of taking out that. I'm a little nervous taking out that many Reflector Mages, to be honest. But, I mean, we do have two more Deputies that I'm putting in. I don't know. I'm not thrilled with this, actually. Okay, Flip says Mantis out. <sighs> I don't know, man. I You have such a hard time convincing me that any matchup 
Mantis Rider comes out. Like, that's how much I love Mantis Rider. I think this is good. Uh, having Oof and Vile. The annoying thing is to play Oof on two, we'll have to declare Oof with one of our caverns, which really is a problem. But I don't, I don't think we want to not play it on two. So I think we get rid of the planes. I think that's fine because we're going to have the vial. We should be able to play most everything. A Mantis Rider is going to be a real problem in this game. If we're going to name Oof on two, it means Mantis Rider is definitely not coming out on three. And our only way to get him out will be to click the vial to three, which is, I guess, better in this scenario because we're not relying on the prince. Okay, that's cool. We can oof with uh, an unclaimed. I don't know. You know what? I think we probably won't even play Oof on two with the Thalia. We'll probably just play Thalia, and then we don't have to waste one of these things for Oof. We should just be able to play like Unclaimed Territory Human next turn, play out Thalia, the next turn, file in Oof, Lieutenant. It's a pretty slow hand. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we lost. Oh, God, we lost so badly. Um, do we just resign? That's really the question. Torpor Orb is just death. Like, you can get around Torpor Orb just by playing fast enough, but like, we did not play fast enough. And they've got the Blast Zone. That's like, wow. <laughs> that is a wow. Okay. I mean, I guess the good news is we have quite a bit that actually does fine against Torpor Orb. I feel like I have to run her out, let her die, and then I can oof next turn. Boy, that was really strong. That was some Torpor Orb. I mean, it's funny that this hand, it actually doesn't do that much. It totally destroys the deck, but not necessarily this hand. It's just a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, but man, it's the 3-3. Three, three. Hmm. Okay. There's your anti-Knight of Autumn card of the day. Hope I don't draw that this game. I'll have to hit a welding jar with it. Okay, well... So this is where things get tricky. Um, he wasn't able to bump Blast Zone up. Um... He's even a mana away from being able to trigger it. So even if next turn he pumps it, it'd be the next turn before he triggered it. Oh, and with the Mox Opal down, it'd be even longer. So I think we can oof here and actually be okay. We might win this, actually. Kind of hard to believe a turn two Torpor Orb and we might pull it out. But it's possible. The Lieutenant's a dead card, but... Whatever, that's fine. Like, we're gonna do five here, and if they don't come up with, I don't know, an ensnaring bridge or something, things could get real dicey. But an ensnaring bridge kind of wrecks me. Because then I can't even take it out with Night of Autumn. Uh, I mean, I can't because it doesn't have an ETB. Um, I was gonna say, I can't take it out with, I can't take it out with anything, basically. If he, if he can get a bridge down, he wins. Interesting. And there's the bridge. <laughs> this game is going very well for our opponent. My goodness. I'd be tempted to say it couldn't go better. But I don't know. Maybe it could have. But we are quite dead. Oh, there's a meddling mage. Can't name anything because Torpor Orb's in play. Uh, I'm trying to think. Is there any reason not? No. Oh. We could still Noble Hierarch them over a thousand turns, so we'll just uh, sort of roll with this. Um, there's no way to remove the Snaring Bridge, though. Man. I can't play an Urza. So if they draw an Urza, that would be stuck in hand. But still only one attack. I'm just trying to figure out... Oh, okay. So here's what we'll do. We'll Meddling Mage and name something... No, we can't name anything with Meddling uh, okay. We're just gonna move on. Oh, you're right. Mage does do it. 
Uh, let's let's play the meddling mage. Yeah, it's not an, it's not an ETB. Let's just name something that we can get stuck in their hand. So what do we want? What's a card that's a four of in that deck that we can get stuck in their hand? Mm, I mean, Were Prison is a great card. We could name that. We could name Thopter Foundry in case they draw that. I think we should name Thop. Let's name War Prison, I guess. I can't play War Prison forever, though. We're going to name Thopter Foundry. They already can't play Urza. They need another land. So here's two cards they can't play. And so maybe if over the next two turns they draw the cards they can't play. Then we have a chance. Engineering Explosives was good, but I'm not sure they have enough. Did, what did I do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Word of Invention. Thank you. So let's see if our plan worked. Look at that. They can't play that card. Maybe we're geniuses. Maybe. Still can't do anything, but we're one turn away from genius. Actually... We should definitely play this Lieutenant. We, we could have attacked with it this turn. That was really foolish. At the end of turn, I should have filed it in and attacked with it. That was, that was definitely an error. I hate errors. They are the worst. All right, here we go. Lieutenant's coming in. And then with uh, um, Noble, we could be swinging for two a turn and we could actually win this thing. No, nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah, okay, pumped a two and then wipe everything. So, yeah, that's super good. <laughs> Uh, and they can't activate. No, they can't activate it still. They need a land. Another Mox Opal. Okay. Got canceled, but they don't mind. They just don't want another card in hand. Okay, that's fine. We're still all right. Give us a Noble. I just want running Noble Hierarchs. That's what we want. Right now. You know what? That's also not bad. That would be awesome if we could just win with these hilarious dudes. Thank you for not allowing my guys to grow, Susurius. Much appreciated. All right, this is really important, too, because now this can't be taken out by the Blast Zone, even if they get a land. So we're still doing one. Got this. Actually, will that take out the Torpor Orb, or is it only opponents? Oh, that's interesting. It'll take out the Torpor Orb. Okay, that's troubling. They got their fourth land. <laughs> trigger Narset, Trigger Narset. Come on, man, Trigger Narset. No. All right, well, we're definitely in trouble. Okay. We will bluff that we have everything we could ever want. <sighs> Draw a were. That's the only, no, not were. Uh, Thopter Foundry. Hmm. That guy's really annoying. <laughs> that guy is very annoying. Well, I don't. I can't remember now if we played this member or not. I think we did not play this member. Pretty sure we don't win this one. Ooh, that helps. Except for the blast zone is on two now, so I want to wait on that one. I'd rather they blast zone before we name another thing. Forget that you shouldn't nar you're narsiting. Oh, thank goodness. Please be something expensive. <laughs> mm hmm. Ooh, what did they play. What would they get? They got nothing. All right, they've got a card in hand. Woo, what is it though? I don't know. <laughs> now there's Thalia. That's all the Thalias. All right, let's throw them out there. We're going face, because we got this one. Okay. There we go, one more damage. We're almost there. Only 11 turns away from winning. What could go wrong? Oh man, please, please. Were. Wait, I can throw her, no. Freaking, wait, why can't I activate this? 
Oh, my own oof. Yeah. Okay. That's too bad. Mm, maybe I should have just put the battle tank out and named Whirr. I don't know. Here comes Whirr. Oh, that's a big Whirr. What are they going to put out? One, two, three, four. Four? four. Okay. What did they do? They played it for three and got nothing? Oh, they got Crucible of Words. Worlds, you may play land cards from your graveyard. Okay. That's weird, it just didn't say over here what they got. All right, well, again, we got the one. Hmm, unfortunately. Well, the nice thing is this. When this dude eventually cracks this, it will hit the Torpor Orb, which would allow me, <laughs> it will not allow me the Night of Autumn to kill the bridge because of freaking welding jar. Ugh. Okay, cool. Let's just swing for two. Okay. Slowly but surely. We got this thing. We're down to eight. We're getting there. Can't imagine we get there, but we're getting there. Square, okay. Oh, they're emptying the hand. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, another Narset. Interesting. Okay. Come on, noble hierarchs. All the noble hierarchs. Take that dude. Um, okay. I think we are going to play. I think we should play the meddling mage. If they crack the two, we still have three guys on the board. I think that's fine. This gives us a little bit of a chance to lock them down. Oh, we've got Foundry there. Its name. Urza. Urza would be annoying. Okay. Let's do this. Alright, opponent. Stuck in your hand. Hmm? Can't play it? The problem is if it's if they get something they can't play, they can always just crack blast zone and then play it. And they do lose Torpor Ore, but they don't care that much. Ghost Quarter, okay. I'm going to assume one of the caverns. Nope. Hmm. Okay. They really want to use huh? They don't have... Oh, I guess they didn't have white. Is that what they're looking for? Nope, that is not what they're looking for. Mystic Sanctuary. Oh, a draw? Oh, this could backfire. No, that did not backfire at all. <laughs> that didn't backfire at all. Giant Whirr. Almost named Whirr. Guess I should have. Yeah, I guess I should, because I can just put into play the Thopter. What did they put in? Bottled Cloister. Oh, yeah, this one's annoying. All right. Pretty sure we lose. I mean, I guess we still have the Noble Hierarch plan. But that is about it. I try not to let too much time go by. Because we are pretty... I think we should probably just resign here. I feel like they've got the game pretty locked down. Cloyster was kind of like the last draw because no matter how well we do and lock their hand up, I don't know. We could still win with the Noble Hierarchs. I can't I can't bear to resign when there's any possibility that I could win. Even if I'm just not seeing how there is no possibility that I can win. 
But that bottle of cloister wrecks me. Or at least it wrecks my plan. The naming the f does nothing because they can word it out. No, you're right. I, I definitely should not have named it. I named it early just because I think most of these decks only have two words, and I wanted to name something that I thought was likely to get stuck in their hand. It was it was it was accomplishing the two goals of trying to stick something in their hand and shutting down one of their cards. But you're definitely right. Dop Dr. Founder has not been shut down. Yes, yes, I play a card. A card that cannot function. Where are the nobles? Come on, deck. Enough is enough. This dude is never cracking his blast on you. That's just cruel. The second war, they got the, the bottled cloister, which has really not been good for me. Okay. They have five cards in hand. That's just cruel. Nothing I can do about that. Not the most exciting game I've ever played. Alright, so that one is a yes. I'm just going to make the other one an always a no. Oh my god. Uh, I hit the wrong one. Okay. That's weird. Um, in the battlefield there's nothing, so we're still just hoping for a noble. Cool. Moving on with our lives. Waiting for the noble. Even with the nobles, he can just block with Skite. Yeah, but Vitter, he can't block two nobles. He can't block two nobles now, can he? You're definitely... Oh, oh, okay. That's a good point, actually. He doesn't need to block two nobles. All right, let's just consider this is ridiculous. Thank you. Thank you for helping me just resign that, because I was thinking I could just draw multiple nobles, but you're right, they wouldn't do anything anyway. Okay, uh, we're going to put the dismembers back in. I I thought dismember was the right call. I'm pretty convinced that it is. I think Knight of Autumn is actually not that great because of Welding Jar. I'm going to leave one in. It's kind of like having a pseudo three oofs. Um, I'm not even totally convinced that that build has Thopters. Like, they've word twice and could have gotten Thopters. Are they just locking me down and not getting Thopters? Which makes me think maybe I don't need a Plague Engineer, especially if my goal on the play is just to kind of go fast. I'm a little bit tempted to put the Lieutenants back. Maybe even a Charming Prince back. <laughs> yeah, you're exactly right. The two Nobles does not have Exalted. So that would not work at all. Four Noble. Oh, you're right, though. Imrahal's right. Four nobles would have gotten us there. Ah, uh, this is so hard because this is a reasonable hand. But we're on the play and I really think our road to success is to go super fast. And this is not a fast hand. And we can't play the oof on two necessarily. Like we're really reliant on either drawing a one drop or oof or like losing on the spot. So I would keep that in a lot of scenarios and probably wish I had kept that in this scenario but here we are uh, I'll toss uh, do I want to keep the ziggurat for the file that's a tough one what do I want the draw or the ziggurat or maybe I just give up the cavern yeah they're not really they're not really canceling, and they're not pressuring my life total. So I think Horizon Canopy is a, is fine, and it gives me that draw when I need it, which I'm going to. I got like nothing in hand. The hand went from bad to worse. Well, it went from fine to worse. Yes, Vitter and I are on the uh, same page. That's right, Jake. I am not dead. Yep. Much to your disappointment. How did I give up? Oof. That just feels dumb now. <laughs> Bridge over. Alright. This is, uh, pretty cruel. That's what this has been. 
Nice thing is my other hand would not have been any better against the scenario, so I don't have to worry that I made some huge blunder. Uh, do I noble and then lieutenant? I kind of think I do not. I think what I want to do is this. This gives me one turn of being able to use the lieutenant. He's pretty soon he's not gonna be able to attack anyway and pumping the noble is not a good idea because we want the noble at zero. We have the dismember to handle the spell skite or some other garbage that they put in the way of the noble. Round five though. It's pretty amazing. Okay, so they're not worried right away. Which is fine by me. I get to grow the noble. Hopefully I draw a human here. I get to grow it even more, or at least a land that will let me crack the canopy, because this is pretty much an unmitigated disaster at this point. It's quite possible I should have just mulled this hand also, but that just felt beyond greedy. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm pretty sure we grab this bridge, especially since you never know what's going to happen next. It could be a total war next turn. Like, I probably would have thought about waiting on this. If he hadn't showed the Torpor last game, where it's like, yeah, well, uh, waiting might be a death sentence. Such a slow attack, though. It seems to be so little. All right. <clears throat> wow, Nightbot, why do you lie so much? Daily videos is quite the overstatement. There's the spell, Sky. Now we look super smart for keeping that dismember when that could have been an actual creature. Uh, I think we're going to leave this on two for now. Though, being able to vile... Uh, I don't have to vial in, though, the Plague Engineer. But we don't have the Charming Prince, so I think we can actually move this to three. We have the Reflector Mages, that's really good with not that many. The Deputies, the Plague Engineer, we want to go fast. So I think I am going to put this on three so that I can dismember and play him and play Athalia. Like, that's pretty solid. Uh, so let's go... That. Dismember. Damage. I did that order right. I, <laughs> it wouldn't have been totally shocking of me to play Thalia first. I'm streaming not always on my A plus game. Alright, uh, I don't think there's any reason to attack with the deputy. There's no reason to put in the engineer now either. Alright, this is actually looking reasonably good. Um, next turn we're threatening 6-8. It's a two-turn kill at this point. So we'll see what they can come up with. Susurus. Oh, wow, I'm down to six minutes. Max Opal, okay. Can be okay with that. All right, I'm okay with that. The two cards. What they got? Oh, that looks scary. Valeria West. What are they gonna grab for three? A bridge? A bridge would be pretty awful for me. This is where a charming prince would be great. Blast zone. Blast zone's kinda slow though. I'm not sure Blast Zone saves them. This on Thopter. I'm not even convinced they're running thopters but we're going thopter anyway it just feels like they must be all right let's put that always on no darn it oh actually that could be fine if we mantis rider off the top here we're gonna feel pretty dang good mantis rider show flippy was wrong <laughs> uh, that's not the worst you grab with Teleria West. Did we get to see that? Oh yeah, the Blast Zone. We can't grab the Blast Zone. Uh, we're threatening three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It would be nine with the Freebooter. 
Sure, let's just, let's freeboot her now. We can't um, pop it in with Vile anyway. Gives us one more damage. I don't know, maybe we pull something reasonable. Pull that blast zone. That, obviously that was a joke, but that would be amazing. Oh, uh, sure. Wow, I get the whir? Hell yeah, I'll take the whir. I think he loses. He's gonna, have, or they will have to top deck something very, very good to not lose this. A bridge would do it. A bridge would be devastating. <laughs> a bridge would be devastating. Though, I maybe could get in for two. All right. Now they didn't resign. They got something. They got something. No, they got nothing. Nothing. Whew. Daily as in one day each month, some months included. Jake, thank you so much for spinning that correctly. That really helps. All right. Uh, you would put on three. I imagine you're talking about the vial. Yeah, explosives would have saved them. That's true. Um, all right. Well, we got there. That worked out uh, well. I'm trying to think about if we have time for another. We do have time for a fast match. We don't have time for a slow as molasses match. A little torn here. I, I, say, I say we go for it. I say we go for it. I'm thinking about streaming tomorrow as well. I have the day off. My children will be home, but you know, they can entertain themselves for a little while. Cool. The Charming Prince was awesome, as always. What time is it where I live? It is 4.50. Sorry, 4.51. All right. Uh, wow, this is not the hand you want to see. But like, it's not really a hand I can throw back, either. Cavern into Vile, into the Second Land, into a Noble into a reflector mage if I really want into several reflector mages chancellor what the hell is this thing what what is happening right now <laughs> what is chancellor of the tangle so, just what I don't understand is it some ability when we start the game he gets one if it's in his hand Oh, yeah, I guess that would make sense. It's Neoform. So if it's Neoform, I think if it's Neoform, we can't actually Vile. I need to start with a Noble so that I can toss whatever he plays back. Um, will we have time? Wait, what? Uh, I guess I don't understand what's happening right now. How did he get to play this? Oh, sorry. I saw two hand then. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So we are probably dead here. Wow. Okay. He gets a neoform it now. Okay. Yeah. He made the mana. Right, so Russell Brand. Now does he just win right here on turn zero? That would be impressive. Yeah. That would be impressive. I'm hoping it's a turn one kill the other way. Because that, that has happened a lot of times against Neo Brand. They're like, I got this, I got this. Ah, oh, nuts, I'm dead. So that's that's what we have to hope for, is the self-kill. The, the mess-up self-kill is all we have to root for at this point. Another Allosaurus, right? That's, uh, that's pretty, pretty much something. All right. Well, okay. I think we definitely have to play the Noble so that we can bounce some I mean I don't know what the hell we're gonna do but you know something something it's kind of tempting just to resign there so they wouldn't know what I was doing but I feel like they don't care what I'm doing they're just like playing solitaire and hoping that they beat me before I do whatever I was, was I was gonna do I'm a little disappointed they didn't kill me right there that, like that would be fun at least remember you played this deck against me you killed me first turn yeah uh, yeah, it, was. <laughs> it definitely didn't feel like the most fair experience of my life. 
Um, okay, three, six, fourteen. Sure, why not? Hit me for fourteen. So we will be able to reflect our mage back to Gristle Brand. Okay. Interesting. I guess that's what we do. I mean, I, I don't feel like we got this one, but sure. Let's send back to Gristle Brand. I mean, I feel like them the self kill with a Gristle Brand was our only. Hope. <laughs> By sending it back, we've just ensured our loss. All right, we still got a shot. They're gonna gristle brand anyway. One more time, one more time. Oh, come on. Okay. We do have the problem that the Allosaurus Riders actually are going to kill us pretty quick here, and we have the self kill, which is tough okay bring it on allosaurus rider I really don't know how we win this that's six we, got this ride that's four. we could still double no yeah we can't even double can't even tap our land. Uh, this is problematic. He's back! Tap it. Or whatever. Pay, pay seven life. You can do it. You know you want to. Oh, and it's blind too. Cool. So we can't even reflect your mage. So we need a land here or we're pretty much dead. What is that? Oh, they have so many cards they have to discard. Okay, cool. Fun stuff. Yeah, we gotta land. We're right back in it. For the moment. Boom. Tap that gristle. Alright. We bought another turn. Still not sure how we actually win. But we did buy a turn. Okay, I need to take this off the draw, it's annoying me. So how do we sideboard this thing? I guess we just put the dismembers in, be able to hit those Allosaurus Riders. We pray that we hit a meddling mage and name Neoform. Hmm. Okay, that certainly works. Okay. What do we want here? Hmm. Do we want Charming Prince? I don't think he does anything at the moment, but what he could do is get us another Reflector Mage. I guess he does gain us some health, but I think Reflector Mage is the way to go in this spot. And then we'll have a decision to make. Do we just throw down the Prince for the health? Do we get another trigger from the Reflector Mage. My, my guess is we'll need another Reflector Mage trigger. This dude is basically saving us. Next turn, being able to Lieutenant could be interesting. Ooh, another once upon a time, okay. So they're down to four. Actually, I didn't realize that they were at four now, so now a Mantis Rider off the top just wins. Um, wow, a Reflector Mage was very close to winning. We'd be only one off. The Lieutenant isn't the worst. Hmm. It's interesting because we could go like Charming Prince, gain three, then be able to tap that Canopy be able to buff everyone and then we'd be able to have four guys on the board which is interesting that might just be enough to just overrun them and get there ok 
Okay. Yeah, that might be the plan here. Unless I draw a hierarchy, in which case... No. In which case, nothing. Ooh. Another, another reflector mage trigger to grab both simian spirit guides. No. <laughs> that does not grab both. Wow. I had uh, reflector mage and deputy conflated in one amazing card. That would be an amazing card. Okay, so... Game three, Lieutenant Trigger puts the mage at a three, four, though he'd be a four, five with the noble. So they couldn't double block. He would be threatening lethal. And I'd have plenty of blockers. And then I have four guys on the board. If they put down two Allosaurus riders though, then I can't remove one of the blockers. Actually, I don't need to gain the health because of the ziggurat. So is there another play I can make here that would be more effective? Like perhaps a second lieutenant trigger. Or maybe just even um, the reflector mage. Attack with the reflector mage, then trigger it at the end of the turn. I think that's probably the play. One last blocker out there for next turn. And then hopefully we sneak through. Let's try it. Uh, we don't need to use her. So that's fine. Okay. Let's try this. Uh, I guess the problem is the Reflector Mage will lose the buff, but I think we're okay with that. Plus it becomes untapped now, which is also nice. So we can attack with it and still have it defending. So this sounds pretty good to me. I have to block or they lose, so that's nice. They're one blocker down. And then they'll have nothing on the board. Can they somehow win? Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, five. So they still can't play that dude. Okay. So let's go like this. Fresh Prince, this mother. Okay. Do exile him. All right. Let's see if this works. Out. See if we can sneak it out. Uh, that'd be nice. Okay. Comes another buff for that dude. Okay. We're good and we're good. Wow, this would be quite the win. It's gonna be pretty tough for them not to lose here. I mean, I've got. They have if they put down both Allosaurus riders, they still lose. So they they gotta find a way to get out Gristlebrand. I don't I don't know quite well enough all the options to know if that's a possibility. Well, they're definitely desperate. <laughs> I like that. Okay, there's one Allosaurus rider. He's big. He's scary. Another one, big and scary. Oh, it looks like they got something to go with it. Oh, Laboratory Maniac. If you would draw a card while your library has none in it, you win the game. Okay. So now they do have enough blockers where I can't just put down and I can't just win. So now I need like a Mantis Rider or a Deputy or a Reflector. Not really a champion, unfortunately. Only one of these guys gets through. It's only one damage. I guess we just go Champion and Thalia. So first things first. We're going to Vile. A little, little bit dicey because it tells them now we got nothing in hand. And maybe it would have been better to save back. But I think it would be better to get the Vile going in case we get a Prince or something at some point And we somehow survive. So, next turn we're again threatening lethal. We've got way more blockers than they can handle. So, we're just hoping, oh, break the canopy. Mm, good call. Good call, I should have broken the canopy instead of playing the vial. That is definitely correct. Should have done that first. Never know. At that point, I would have had enough man if I hit a deputy or a reflector mage. So we'll definitely do the draw at the end to see if uh, if we lose if that was if that was a critical component. Might be. 
Disagree with tapping blocker to play useless file. Yeah. It's just... The, the prince is so good if you can vial him in. It kind of looks like this game might go a while, but maybe not. Oh, do we just run him over? Or is this an elaborate deke? <laughs> what do they have that will beat me? I only need any two to get through. Oh, that, that guy helps. All right, we've got our answer here. Now, if they have an answer to all of this, then congratulations on being awesome. Okay, there we go. Oh, but the next card would have been the Mantis Rider for the win. So, Vitter totally uh, confirms what you said. You were definitely right. Okay, so how the heck do we do this? Definitely want to dismember that the Allosaurus Rider. Um... Oh, actually, protection from green and black is pretty great here. I didn't even think about him for this matchup. I think we probably want the deputies. What do we toss here? I suppose Thalia. Like, if we could get Thalia immediately, maybe. Um, I'm not sure there's anything else I really want to toss. With, I think we want to leave Meddling Mage to be able to say Neoform. Yeah, you're totally right, Vitter. You you were right in the moment, and then you were confirmed to be even more right. Uh, let's see. Is Lieutenant that valuable in this matchup where it's like we either disrupt them or we lose or they just lose? <laughs> like, damping sphere on play is not bad. Or what? What are they tapping that gets them more than one, one mana? I can't think of what. Or are we just saying so that they can't chain stuff together? I guess that's what it is. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, I don't I don't think on the draw would be right. I've already got enough stuff that I'm trying to cut for. I'm really struggling. I guess we're going to cut two lieutenants. I think we want all the bounce effects we can get. So we're keeping Charming Prince as another bounce effect. We're keeping Image as another bounce effect. So I think I'll cut Freebooter, even though it's not bad. Yeah, you're right, Vitter. I, I see what you're saying. I'll try that if we end up going to game three. Uh, we may not, though. This is a really good... Wow. Well, <laughs> what a foolish statement on my part, right? Like, this is a really good hand. It doesn't matter what I have. <laughs> How foolish of me. They're going down to four, though. So they're... Oh, three? Wow. If they win here, that'll be impressive. Going all the way to three for the combo. The Neo Form Madness. Go to two. Oh, okay. I wonder if that means they found the combo. Three. Bump, bump, bump. Whoa, no lands. No simian. No nothing. I like it. Uh, sure. Let's do this. Wow, next turn I get to start bashing them with a Mantis Rider. Oh my goodness. Mantis Rider into um, into Phantasmal Image plus Lieutenant. Like This could be over real fast if they don't draw land. They did not draw land. And another Mantis Rider just for the rub-ins. Take a little damage here, I think. Wow, okay. Well, this is very close to over. I don't understand why people play in Neoform. I'm just going to say it. Like, it just seems... I don't know, for me personally, it just does not seem that fun. It's like, you either you either win or you lose. Like, if, you, if it was a deck where you're the winner, you lose, and it's like 65%, then yeah, sure, fine. That seems great. But I, I don't feel like that's what we're working with here. I think the answer is to go, uh... Okay, that's, that is definitely the right answer on their part. We did it! Oh my goodness! <laughs> We're so great! Uh, that's, that's a funny 2-0. Uh, Alright, 2-0. Neoform. Game 1. Looked over. 
on turn zero for me. But they couldn't close with me at one. Uh, I'm just going to say it. Charming Prince was great in that game. Game two. Mull to three. They drew no lands. Womp, womp. Can't say I feel the worst for a Neoform player that draws no lands. Like, I'd rather have a good game, but if we're going to play Neoform, then uh, I'd like to see you get punished sometimes just because that's the nature of that deck. Okay. Unfortunately, I think that's going to have to be it for today, but I, I'll make this promise. Tomorrow, I'll come back. I won't play any more games in the league, and we will finish out the league tomorrow. And I was going to say it. Let's just go 5-0. Why not? Why not just go 5-0? Uh, haven't had gotten any um, trophies this league. Let's do it. All right. Thanks so much for coming by, everyone. Uh, special thanks to all those who are chatting. Flip, Vidor, Jake, Amarhal. Awesome to see you all. And Vidor, thanks for the uh, great thoughts. All, always uh, helpful. Good stuff. All right. I'll see you all tomorrow, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, have a great one.